Hello, my beautiful Vibe Tribe. Welcome to your Mystic Affirmations. This is your Relentlessly Optimistic reading once again as we start this day as every other day from the beginning. This is a fresh, clean slate. This day has never been lived by you or all others. We are now moving forward in the energy of the new and the reimagined as we bring our energy of affirmation and manifestation into play here. So as we envision new things and better things, continuously improving, ascending, and bringing ourselves to a highest frequency that we are capable of and living our best possible life now, this is what this reading is about. It's for all sun, moon, and rising signs. There's no distinction on that. Some of the cards may show up in the energies of the different signs, but this is uh, one tarot deck with four affirmation decks, which are various energies of spiritual sacred geometry, angels, beautiful life affirmations, and the law of attraction deck over here. And if you'd like a private reading, please visit royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. With all that being said, let's go into the energy. We have temperance and the seven of cups. Temperance is the energy of balance and being provided with the best possible opportunities through the Archangel Uriel energy, bringing in whatever's necessary to provide you with the synchronicity that you need to help you to your best advantage. And the Seven of Cups is the beautiful energy of having abundance coming in. This is a windfall of mega proportion. So literally, uh, a landslide of good things coming and the only caveat is they all happen at the same time so when it rains it pours but these are blessings it's pouring in and we will receive them in kind thankfully and gratefully here we go thank you angels archangels divine pure white light divine spirit spirit guides gods and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow everyone to have the information they seek, to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages. And we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You're always welcome and very appreciated. So we have the Ace of Swords coming in with the energy of what we had previously seen. And as we hold the energy of the Ace of Swords, it is the victory. It is the deciding energy of clarity and focus and truth. And, and we follow the energy, getting a clear path forward. And it is assistance from divine because it's an ace. This three of cups flipped over in the deck. And that is overflowing energy of being assisted through angelic realms as those two cups pour into your cup, causing overflow of abundance, which is exactly what it said. You got that seven of cups talking about that. I don't know why I turned it over, but there you go. <laughs> so the only secret now is what's the middle card. <laughs> Our underlier is the nine of cups. So that's a beautiful energy. This is the energy of being very much in a place of your heart's desire being granted. And that heart is also here. So this is part of that celebration energy of getting, you notice the, in these cards, you see those fractalized, like faceted, energy lines that is all about the expansion of that energy outward and it is glorious so this one has one two three four five six seven eight and this one has eight or no six and six so it's got four more facets there's three here three here and then same here so that is the magnification of going from 8 to 12 is increasing the frequency of your heart's desire. Oh, sorry. Goodness, Jack, are you okay? Jack was outside chasing the ball, so he's a little tuckered out right now, and he had a little cough. So, Courage is here, and this is one of my favorite cards of this deck. First of all, because it has gallivanting horses all around, <laughs> around the background, and this beautiful leopard. 
My fear of rejection does not stop me from bravely going forward. This is got to be the thing that you attach yourself to when you take the leap of faith and, and feel the fear and do it anyway. This was my thing. Just, I mean, letting people who know me in the regular world know that I had this gift was a huge obstacle to overcome. And anybody who's doing anything that's, that's unknown about themselves and bringing it up, especially later on in life, people who don't know you formally from your childhood or that they don't know about, this, about you about this, um, it's hard to kind of show it, right? Um, so whether it's a gift that you're given or who you identify as, this is the moment where your fear has to be overcome by your bravery to attain what you know is your calling, whatever it may be. And communication, always important and very crucial in effectively bringing things in. I effectively communicate and clarify my needs in order to achieve my goals. The Ace of Swords was all about clarification. It frees you of all the entanglements and misunderstandings. So being in a place of being very clear about what you're communicating is really important, especially when you're speaking to the universe, <laughs> when you're speaking it out before you actually have it and when we're using to manifest, it's important that you're very, um, don't leave it to any misunderstandings. You're ready. You are ready. So there you have it. What a beautiful image love these the images on these cards the back side is trust so trust you are ready you got to trust the universe you got to trust what you're you're feeling in your gut always trust that oh goodness gracious jack i think him went to get him a drink of water Heart chakra. The frequency of the heart chakra, the green flower of life, supports our capacity to love deeply and unconditionally. Its healing properties harmonize the mind and the body. It is so important to keep your heart clear and keep yourself in a place of forgiveness, release, allow all that stuff to go through. You don't want to hold on to anything too negative. Um, or any kind of resentment or any kind of feeling of being cheated, anything like that. You want to just dismiss it, bless it, and release. It's okay that they tried to cheat me because that sets me up for double blessings. It's okay that they don't like me because there are plenty of other people who do. This is just, You have to be in a place of having a clean heart, purely moving forward in the energy of... I, and I'll say this, um, there are, sometimes I get dislikes or the down, the down thumbs down on my thing, one or two. It's okay. Everybody doesn't resonate with this. I'm fine with that because I have so many of you who tell me how much it means for me to do these. And that's who I'm speaking to. I'm not speaking to the person that doesn't like it. It's okay. They don't get it not their thing sure fine have a nice day everything in my life works now and forever forevermore my life works beautifully and i have to say that is true everything in my life works now and forevermore and, and okay so let's say it in the proper way that it's it's um accented here with that comma everything in my life works now and forevermore everything in my life works now and forevermore so my life works beautifully mm. 
I like this one too. I actually love this color and the seashells and the seashells. She sells she shells by the seashore. <laughs> I flow freely and lovingly with life. I love myself and I know that only good awaits me at every turn. This goes right into that heart chakra energy. I let go of all expectation. I flow freely and lovingly with life. I love myself. I know that only good awaits me at every turn. So, someone's asking out there, well, if you're letting go of expectations, then how do you manifest? So, what we have to remember is, we're setting up the energy of exception, not exception, but ex, with an A, accepting, A-C-P, A-C-E-P. T I N G rather than expecting. So letting go of expectation doesn't mean that you're not in a place of pulling in the energy of manifestation because now we're using the exception, okay, of accepting and receptive energy, of letting all possibilities, the best possible ones, come into our lives for our highest good. So that's what I mean by that. So we're not going to, remember, if you pigeonhole yourself and say something really literal, if you say, I want this, this exact job at this exact amount of pay at this exact time, well, what if it was going to come sooner from another place that was a better job and paid more money? What if you've cut your nose off despite your face because of your expectation of that job? rather than accepting what the universe knows to be the right thing. That's all I'm saying. Three of Cups, the double blessing, getting double for your trouble. Literally, what I said earlier about getting heaps of stuff coming in because somebody has, has you know, let go of you. They took you from last to first in the blink of an eye. So you get double for your trouble because someone tinkered with what you were doing so the universe rewarded you for it because you kept your energy clean the strength card this is the energy of the archangel ariel coming in it is the leo major arcana and in standard tarot this would be a lion this is the energy of the the archangel ariel coming in going with you through all tr trials and tribulations standing with you and also protecting you from whatever may try to interfere and the strength to endure whatever it takes for however long it takes to get to the goal. And this is where you're at the place of feeling like you've hit a brick wall, but you have not. You see, she's still got the rod in her hand. It just means you may have to drill down a little harder or use something, a different tool to get this last thing accomplished, but don't give up. Find a new way find a new way to accomplish what you're doing. Don't just throw your hands up and walk away because you're so close to the breakthrough and it always gets 10 times harder right at the moment of breakthrough. I also want to uh, remind you that we have two nines here. So that means two big breakthroughs. If the 10 of cups is the energy of the happily ever after and the nine of rods is the energy, I mean the 10 of rods is the energy of releasing you from the burden you're at the place where both of these things are about to happen. So stay clear. Keep continuing to speak your destiny in. Thank you, universe. I receive my best possible life now. And the universe is my source, and I trust my source. You are ready, and then you got trust on the bottom side. I think I'm going to start doing it that way. Then we have the heart chakra, which is the energy of staying pure, with your emotions and releasing all negativity, letting all that go, and then be in a place of accepting rather than expecting and allow yourself to stay in the flow of life. That's through your heart energy here. Okay, my darlings. So this is your June 23rd, 2021 reading for Wednesday. I hope you enjoyed it. Many, many blessings and namaste. I'll see you tomorrow.